What up, Fight World? It's I mean, Boxing Club, man. Let's get to it, man. So, Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney, man. Congratulations to Ryan Garcia for getting the job done, man. Uh, man, I didn't expect for this to happen. I thought Devin Haney had to fight UD, but the way the antics was going for Ryan Garcia, I was picking Devin Haney for uh, to win by a stoppage. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Um, <clears throat> that wasn't the case, man. We got to give Ryan Garcia his props, man. I mean, I feel like it was, um, at the end of the day, he showed that it was a method to his madness as far as him with all the antics and acting like he was crazy and all that. And then coming out and really showing that he was in shape. Um, <clears throat> Ryan Garcia, he did what he did. Um, some people I'm on, I'm on Twitter. I'm looking around. Some people saying that Ryan Garcia is a weight bully, woo de woo and, uh, I feel like that weight definitely helped him, you know. I had arguments about this. I feel like that weight definitely helped him. But uh, at the end of the day, man, I feel like uh, Devin Haney, like I had made a video um, of who would win between Tank and uh, Devin Haney, and I just felt like uh, Devin Haney defense wasn't that great. I felt like he got good defense, but I just felt like it wasn't that great. And I feel like uh, Tank could have got to him. Now, don't get me wrong, though. When Haney moved to 140, I was saying that it was even closer, that it was like 50-50 and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I didn't never really trust Devin Haney defense like how I trust a Shakur defense. That's why I feel like um, I would take my chances with Shakur versus uh, Tank, you know. I felt like Shakur had the better defense than he would beat Tank. Uh, I felt like Tank wouldn't be able to really get off on Shakur for real. And the inside, um, Haney is weak there and... Uh, I feel like Haney defenses his legs when he moving out the way mostly. I mean, he moves his head too, but not as much. But I feel like his his defense is really in his legs when he when he moving around and people call it running. Like if he fighting that style, it'll be very hard to beat him. You know what I'm saying? But if he trying to get he he in front of you and he fighting you and stuff like that, he 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 not that sharp on defense. He's not that good on defense. But Ryan Garcia did his thing, man. Uh, I said before the fight, I felt like. Well, I didn't tell y'all because I ain't been posting like that, but I knew before the fight that, uh, and I talked to family members and people that uh, Ryan Garcia only had a puncher's chance. And uh, it showed. Um, the only, I feel like it was a close fight, even though I had G Garcia winning the fight, it still was a close fight. And um, Ryan, all of Ryan, Ryan Garcia's success was him hurting Devin Haney. Like, his, like it was his success as far as uh, uh, the knockdowns really got him there. And, um, you know, he, he was hang, hurting Haney throughout the fight, but Haney wasn't that sharp on, on his defense, man. And uh, He's supposed to train for that left hook, man. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. Devin Haney, uh, he showed that throughout his career that he had a weak chin. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we seen him hurt throughout his career and stuff like that. But uh, I guess a fighter like Ryan Garcia, even though Devin Haney skillfully, if it wasn't for the knockdowns, Haney won unanimous decision easily. But I feel like, uh, <clears throat> you know, the history they got and they've they been in the ring with each other, what, six times in the amateurs or something like that, like six times in the amateurs. So they very familiar with each other, been knowing each other since they were like nine years old and stuff like that. They didn't hung out together and stuff like that when they was nine and stuff like that. So they know each other very well, man. So they comfortable in the ring against each other. And Ryan felt comfortable and, and Ryan knew what it took to beat Haney, man. And, uh... You know, he got the job done, man. So, you know, salute to uh, Ryan Garcia for getting the job done, man. And he fooled a lot of people, even me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking that he just completely out of it. He need help. But, you know, when he got in the ring, man, he, he showed that, you know, he wasn't all the way out of it, man. And he did use that weight as an advantage, man. You know, uh, you know but at the end of the day, man... It is what it is. But I want to give credit, too, to uh, Derrick James, man. Like, De Derrick James, one of the best trainers in boxing, man. So we got to give him some credit, too, man. And uh, another thing, man, uh, Bill Haney talk a lot, man. He talk a lot. He been disrespecting Mayweather for a minute, man. He, he, he just keep coming at him, like, out of nowhere. Like, nobody even got to mention Mayweather, and he just talking about him. But, you know, and I'm not, I'm not glad that... You know, I wanted Haney to win. I felt like Haney was going to win the fight, and I wanted Haney to win the fight. But, you know, like, uh, the disrespect 
Like, I want to see them put the camera in front of Bill Haney and see what he got to say now, because he talked the most, man. Haney never talked as much, and I know people, a lot of people probably hate Devin Haney more because of what his daddy say, but Bill is the one that talked the most trash, for real. Like, even after the whole Mayweather thing, uh, Devin Haney um, still saluted Mayweather. He still showed respect to Mayweather. He ain't never, like, really disrespect Mayweather, for real, like, he had made a post saying that Mayweather was a hater or something like that. But right after that, he he just showed him nothing but respect in all interviews and everything. And Bill Haney, before and after, just always disrespected Mayweather. So, I mean, um, I want to see what Bill Haney got to say, man. I want to see what Bill Haney got to say. And, uh, you know, that's it, man. That's all, man. You know, it's a crazy night in boxing. It's an upset. You know, I ain't, I did not picture this happening. But, you know... Am I shocked? No, because this is boxing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, anything can happen in boxing, man. And uh, stylistically, and the history between Devin Haney, and Devin Haney and um, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, in the amateurs, I believe they was three and three. I know that it was back and forth, so, you know, they was what and what with each other, you know what I'm saying? And that's the amateurs, it's not the pros and stuff like that, but, you know, they have history of being neck and neck with each other and stuff like that so you know man um that's it though man that's it man that's all fight world man that's all i got so i mean boxing club everybody like comment and subscribe and i'm out